Welcome to Track Time by Race Grooves. This is where I track test Hot Wheels cars, and I'm using a Hot Wheels track today. This episode is called Jump a Loser because we have the new track builder Hot Wheels jumps. I put two of them back to back. As you can see, the one on the left has a kind of a medium gap, the one on the right has a small gap, and then I have a third one with a big gap at the end. We'll be testing 20 cars in this video. These cars came out of the 2015 in-case assortment. Okay, boosters on. You don't have to use boosters for your track setups. I'm just using one today. A first iridium. Jump. Oh, look at that right on his side. Let's try him again. Set, go. Oh, it didn't make the jump. Iridium's a pretty good track car. I'm surprised he's not making it. <laughs> Look at him hang. Sorry. Since he made it further, we'll give him one more chance. But he's got to get further than that. Nope, that'll do it. Bye-bye. Oh, we can't leave you there. You're going to bump the other cars. Now it's time for the 15 Jaguar F-Type Project 7. He's a track car just like Iridium. Maybe he'll do better. Oh, can't handle the first jump. Double wipe out. Try him again. Oh, pretty good showing. Let's try him again. He almost made it all the way around. Yay! Almost all the way, but definitely the best so far. We'll set him to the side. That's how we know how far he got. Up next, steer clear. Now, he doesn't look like a track car, but that's why we test cars to see who works on the track. Oh, I forgot to reset. And he was doing so good. Hmm, he might have problems with the kicker loop. He might not be shaped uh, the best design for a kicker loop. Well, that's, that's two fails in the kicker loop, but he's doing pretty good on the regular boosters, loops, curves, jumps, regular loop. It's just a kicker loop. It looks like he's not designed. Maybe he's got an odd balance with this car. Hey, <laughs> a little bit further. We know his mark is over there at that orange track before the curve. Almost forgot the reset. One more time, and that'll be it for him. Then we'll mark him at the end. Yeah, problems with the kicker loop. We're going to give him a very respectable position. He did better than Iridium. Now we have the Simpsons family car. He kind of seems a little skinny. I don't know how he's going to work in the booster. Boop. Well, <laughs> he was okay in the booster. Say go. Boop, boop. Well, I guess that'll do it for him. Here we have Cloud Cutter. He's a fantastic track car. I wonder if he's going to be going so fast, though. He might have problems with the jumps. 
Oh, that surprises me. I was not expecting that at all. Seems like the boosters aren't grabbing them very strongly. It sure seems like he's not coming out of the boosters very quickly. Yeah, look how slow he was. Oh, that's enough for you. Now we have the Ford Shelby GR1 concept. It is a realistic license model, but it's also designed for the track. Oh, almost didn't make it. Set, go. Not enough speed to get all the way to the landing ramp. Go. Oh, the jump's just a little too far for him. Since he's pretty close, let's shorten that jump just a little bit. Let's just close the distance a little bit. Two, two notches. I'll give him two notches. I'm going to mark them right here. Let's go ahead and try Cloud Cutter again. See if that shorter gap will help him make it. Oh, he still clips it. And Iridium. Still didn't make it. Excuse me. Excuse me. Now it's time for Land Crusher. Even though it seems like it might not be good on the track, yeah, he's actually done very well in previous track time videos. Oh, that second booster. Oh, I see the track's coming apart a little bit. Let me pinch it. I mean, not pinch it, but pull it together. Here we go. And we have a second person making it pretty far. The Jaguars right here, Land Crushers right here. Hey, stick around. We have quite a few more models to test. Now it's time for the Toyota Supra. If you notice, he has a, a low front bumper. That means he might drag in the loops. Let's see how he performs coming out of that loop. Oh, look, he lost all his speed. Definitely drags going through the loop. We'll try again just to make sure. Yeah, you can even hear him dragging. Here we have Evil Weevil. If you notice, he has no protection around his wheels. So he might work in the boosters, loops, and curves. After a while, though, those axles might get bent. I wonder if his pinchers that stick out, I wonder if that dragged in the loop as he was going around, just like the Toyota Supra. We'll give him another shot. Oh yeah, definitely dragging. Excuse me. Excuse me. RD06, I know a lot of you were looking forward to this car. He should do good, he's a track star. Oh, what happened? Let me check the track right here. Got a little bit of a lip. Let's try him again. Looks smooth going over those jumps. Da -da -da. Oh, I thought he was going to do it. Hey, what's happening, Steer Clear? How you doing? Come on, RD06. Oh, uh, my fault. Sorry. Kicker loop, reset. Oh. Oh, the jump's too far. Of course, we're going to give him another shot. Ah, I did it again.
through the air clips the landing ramp and does not stick the landing. I guess he tumbled this far, right? Now we have the Ford Mustang GT concept. Yeah, kick the loop. You thought I was going to forget, huh? Landed on the side rail, flipped them over. I scooted my booster and track over just a little bit to give me a better straight line coming out of the jumps. Too far, too big of a jump. Let's try him one more time, otherwise his mark is right there at the last jump. Yeah, right there. Now, if you were doing this at home, what you would do is you would bring it closer so that he can make the jump. Now we have Praying Menace. Kicker loop. And start. Good speed, good jumps. Oh, almost. Very respectable performance. Come back. Kicker loop. Track builder tower start. Go. Uh-oh, hey, he turned around, you big showboat. So that's his mark so far on that curve. Let's try him again. He went further than steer clear. Let's see if he can get up to land crusher. Maybe not. I think Praying Menace deserves another shot. He had two impressive runs. Oh, he might be able to do it. This is the last chance because we have more cars to do. Well, still very good. Let's get him up there up on the curve. That's where he was. No, you weren't that far. You were back there. No, not there. Yeah, right there. Well, we better get you out of the way. Very nice praying menace. Now it's time for the Aston Martin 1963 DB5. Kicker loop. Can't forget. He might make it. He's a pretty good track car, actually. Oh, upside down. He passed up. RD06, steer clear, and praying menace. I told you he's a pretty good track car. Wow, what was that? I see that my weight has come off of my loop. I see the loop bouncing around. Let me brace it. And bring back Aston Martin. Can he do it? Passes the Jaguar, and he's our first successful contestant. Here we have Pedal Driver. Just because he's a little car doesn't mean he's going to work well in the boosters, loops, and curves, and jumps. Let's see how he does on this track time presentation. Let's try it again. Oh, when he came out of the booster, it looked like he flew up in the air out of the out of the track. So even though he has smooth sides, something in his body design is causing him to come out of the boosters up into the air. One more time, otherwise he's going to get marks right at that first loop, right next to Evil Weevil. Oh, he went a little further. Is he teasing us? Since he did a lot better, we have to give him another chance. Eh, that'll do it. Where was he? In that area somewhere? I think he was over there. Hot Wheels Ford Transit Connect. This is a model that you'd like to do downhill racing with, but I, I don't know about loops. Oh, made it through a booster, a loop, a jump. Well, not quite the jump. Here he comes again. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, here comes another chance, and his mark's going to be right there in the valley so far. Oh, I don't know. He, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited he might make it. We got to try him again. 
Or at least get him to the valley so I don't have to walk all the way over there. There you go. Nice pose. Here we have the Hollinator. He's a nice little flatbed tow truck. Mm, uh, he fits in the track, but let's see how he does in the track. Uh oh, uh oh. As soon as I heard that sound of him coming out of the boosters, I knew it. Oh, he's definitely dragging. What do you think about the Hollinator Holland pedal driver? Uh, I think it's gonna be entertaining, that's for sure. <laughs> Let's get a pedal driver back over here. Here we have a BMW M4. Oh, dragging through the loops. Not a track car. Well, maybe downhill racing, not the loop. Yeah, check it out. When you roll him through the loop, the wheels, the wheels stop turning because they're not even touching the ground. That means his uh, front and rear bumper are hitting the track and lifting them up off of, lifting the wheels off out of the lanes. He's not going to make it. Let's just put him on one more time because he's going to be parked over there. Oh, now I got to get him off the track. Why did I do that? Thank you for playing. Now it's time for teed off too. If you have a golf ball, you can put a golf ball on top of him. Yeah, that's what, that's teed off. He's a golf tee. It's for you to go take him playing miniature golf. He's probably going to do better for your golf tee than he is going to be on the track. Oh! What a show off. Look at this front flip. He gets some points for style, that's for sure. He's getting further. Still a little bit further. Come back. Oh, he's out of gas. He's tired. Let's go ahead and mark your spot. You're right here in this loop. And since you did such a good job with that uh, front flip, we're going to put you in the front. Now it's time for Bad Mudder 2. He's our second to the last model. We have one more contestant coming up after this. Say go. You can hear that funny noise. He's kind of wide. He's kind of rubbing on the sides of the track, so he's going to be slow. Let's see, uh, let's see where he gets put today. We know you're over there. Last but not least, the 15 Ford Mustang GT. Oh, he made two jumps. Didn't quite get through the second loop. He hit the track right here on the edge. Here he comes for another chance. So far he's made it to this loop. That's his furthest. Uh-oh. Oh, he's over there with the rest of the Fords. Check that out. Three Fords over there. Let's see if he can improve his mark. Uh, not this time. You're still here? Were you surprised Iridium didn't make it? Me too. I'm totally surprised. Let's see if I can adjust my layout and get Iridium to make it. First, got to get the Mustang off of the track. Uh, let's go ahead and start it up. I don't remember if he jumped too far or too short. We'll find out. See, that jump's too far for him. Let's bring it closer. Let's bring it closer for him. Try him again. Oh, he hit one of the cars on the curve. Come back. The path should be clear now. Oh, come on. You want me to put it? You want me to close the gap? Well, then it's not a jump, is it? Is it going any? I don't even know if it goes any closer.
That's a little crooked. Let me get this straight. Because it has to come straight out of that piece of track so it's straight and lined up. Still not straight. I gotta scoot this over. And in case you're looking and you notice it's close over there and it gets further, 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 that's because I have to scoot it over. Because see the booster right here? I have to allow this much room for the booster, and that's why it's at a little bit of an angle. Oh, we gotta close that gap too. Excuse me, Fords. Oh, my fault. Go on. You want me to walk you? You want me to walk you all the way to the finish? I'll just, okay, there you go. There you go. Ta da! That doesn't count. Come on. Doesn't seem like Iridium's gonna make it today. I'm surprised. I thought it was a much better track car than he's doing today. Maybe he just doesn't like this layout. Maybe he's not good in kicker loop. He's not good in jumps. Oh, okay. That's, that's about as far as he's gonna get. Thanks for watching the little bonus footage for those of you who stuck around. Bye bye.